What's up guys, it's McNulty here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. Another day, another secret hero. Hunter has arrived. And uh, again, we have no idea what's going on with Hunter, but I've got some good news. And that is that somebody has obviously managed to pull him and max him right away. I don't know where these guys get all of their mats from, to be honest. Maybe it's just bucks. Um, but before I go ahead and have a look at him with you, something incredible happened this morning. I did my free secret summon um, and I'll pick up summon, you know, the mystic vision one that you get. And I didn't even think it was possible, but amethyst um just dropped in out of nowhere so i'm stoked about getting amethyst um and literally my next pull was the the hero of the month as well which is just insane because i like i said before i'm not spending anything at all at the moment uh so it was just a really nice little surprise there but we have business to attend to so let's get into the raid leaderboard we'll go to top alliances um and it took me a oh it's refreshing now hang on <laughs> we'll wait we'll wait okay so it took me a little bit of time to find it um but and i didn't think this was even possible but my man predator he has struck again so we'll have a look at him sorry i don't know about the reception on my phone at the moment but um predator if it will look him up jeez this is taking ages man come on with the reception people there he is all right Look at this dude, Hunter in the flesh. So Predator has managed to grab him. In fact, um, shout out to Timmy, Timma, don't even know how you pronounce the name from my alliance, who's also funnily enough managed to grab this beastly looking hero as well. Um, and yeah, he's obviously he's maxed out to the max and uh, second limit breaks, emblems, whatever else you want, master emblems even. <laughs> just insane um so we're going to have a look at hunter we're going to see what he's all about and whether or not he is going to live up to the secret hero hype um as there have been some pretty good ones in this portal um so of course he is a dark hero kind of reminds me of like ex nolfod just gone like absolutely ballistic with like a, a, a some kind of weapon in his hand as well like it the art looks really really cool um so he is of the investigator family if we don't already know, the bonus is for one, two or three heroes, anywhere from 20% up to 40% attack and 20% to 40% on the health. So straight up attack and HP bonus, uh, which he will be benefiting from for the whole duration. Um, and then the class, he is of the barbarian class. So he gets this one's got the master wound. So after any normal attack, it's a 30% chance to deal 80% of the damage done by the normal attack over five turns. And obviously, if the target already has the ailment, then the previous ailment's remaining damage is added to the new ailment as additional damage. So it can kind of stack on itself. Um, it's like I said before, it's not one of the greatest classes. So unfortunately, I'm not going to give him any props for that. Um, he gets a passive, the mark by the old ones, where all damage received is reduced by 5% per 10 insanity on this character up to a maximum reduction of 50%. So that is what it is. It's a damage reduction passive as well, which I do really like. Now, Hunter does benefit from the attack up Ether Talent, uh, which at the beginning of the battle gives him an extra 20% attack for six turns. This obviously stacks on top of his family bonus. So even just for himself, if you second limit break this hero, he's going to get an extra 40% on his attack stat. Uh, right away from the beginning of the battle and we're going to see why that's important in just one moment now his special skill is the merciless execution <laughs> i love the sound of that so he's running at fast speed and this special skill never misses its targets okay so you cannot dodge it you cannot get away from it if he's got blind on him it will never miss the target the target gets negative 25% defense for three turns and he deals 500% damage to the target. So, so far, it's a pretty basic single target snipe with a defense down attached to it. Now, if the target is defeated by the attack, then the nearby enemies are inflicted with 100 insanity. He inflicts 50 insanity to himself, to the caster. If we just click this, it's going to be a whole description about insanity. 
I'm not going to bore you guys to death with that because we've gone over it before. The basic thing you need to know is that insanity reverses the cost of a special skill. So why is this kind of a cool special? Um, because it is dependent on whether he defeats the target. And if he does, then the nearby enemies are inflicted with 100 insanity. Now, why is that relevant? Because 100 insanity is the cap, that's the maximum amount of insanity that you can get. It means that those targets on the nearby, whoever you've killed, are going to cast their special skills in reverse immediately because they've reached the 100% insanity mark. So this is a cool hero, but I know he's got kind of a lot of negatives about him as well. The biggest thing being is that he is like a finisher. You need to whittle somebody down to where you know that if you hit them with this guy, he's going to kill them. So I would think about this guy in the same vein that you do somebody like Konshu, where, you know, you want to make sure that Konshu kills the target so he gets that 50% mana boost. Um, so he's pretty much ready to fire again within three tiles. With this guy, he is running a little bit slower than Konshu, so it's going to take you a little bit more to get him back around. But he can be potentially a devastating hero because if you're ready to kill, you just snipe them with this guy and then you know that whoever's next to the guy that you just killed is going to cast their specials, whether it's a heal on your team, whether it's buffs on your team, whether it's straight up damage, they're just going to be killing their own team. Um, so yeah, I do kind of like this hero. I think he might be a little bit tricky to use, but at the same time, I think that he's going to be pretty brutal because you can guarantee the insanity effect right away. With a lot of the other insane heroes or secret heroes, you can't actually guarantee when the insanity is going to trigger, but with this guy, it's going to trigger immediately, just straight away. Um, so I do like that about him. There is a downside though, like I said, in terms of if you don't manage to kill the target basically nothing's going to happen all he's going to do is add 50 insanity on himself and then that increases the chances it does reduce his damage but increases the chances that he's going to then snipe somebody on your own team for 500 percent damage which could just ruin your day <laughs> sorry and then if he if he kills them on top of that he's going to cast 100 insanity on your own team so it could be pretty detrimental uh, to when you fire him off. So you really, really want to make sure that when you're ready to go, you know, he, he goes um, and not beforehand. Um, so for that reason, I would not recommend putting him on your defensive team uh, because he is quite a big liability to himself. And if you do put him on your defense team, make sure you don't put him alongside two really strong heroes because you you probably be gifting the enemy a win. Um but on attacking teams planned around him and, uh, you know, working with synergies, this guy can be awesome. I would love to get my hands on this guy to be able to play around with him. I think he's an excellent hero. I know a lot of people probably disagree, but I really, really do like Hunter. Um, so congrats if any of you guys managed to get your hands on him. Please do let me know. Drop me a comment and let me know what you guys think of Hunter and where you would you, where you would find him to be best used. Um, drop us a like, subscribe to the channel, share it with your mother. And that's all for today. So I'll see you all again in the next video. Bye for now.